First, I measure out the wood to 14 inch pieces. This project will have four sides, each 14 inches long. When you make your marks for your measurements, make sure they're legible. This way, you won't have to spend extra time trying to find your marks like I did. After several hours of frantically searching, I finally found my marks. Then, I was ready to begin cutting the boards. Once I had all four sides cut, I was ready to begin sanding. They don't have to be perfect, but since they'll be around small animals, I wanted to make sure that the edges were smooth. I used a candle to outline the cutouts because it was the closest circular object I could find. The circles don't have to be perfect. Most guinea pigs, though not all, are not overly judgmental. I use a 1 inch Forstner bit so I'll have a starting place for my jigsaw when I'm cutting out the circles later. Once my starting points have been drilled out, I'm ready to use my jigsaw to begin cutting the circles. After a few attempts, I found the easiest way to cut the circles was to start in and cut out in slices. Not my best cutting job, but that's what rotary tools are for. I use the sanding band attachment on my rotary tool to smooth out the inside of the circles I cut. Once my holes are cut, I use a half inch spade drill bit to make holes for the twine. Then, I repeat the process on the top with a vertical alignment. After all my holes have been cut, I'm ready to start assembling the piece with wood glue. For an extra creative challenge, you can glue the pieces backwards like I did. This way, you'll have the opportunity later to solve an irritating problem creatively. I use 8mm twine to begin weaving the pieces together. You can't see it on my face, but this is the soul crushing moment that I had realized my previous mistake. After crying for a solid 30 minutes, I began drilling holes on the actual bottom of the piece. To fix my mistake from earlier, I simply wove some of the twine through the holes that I had made. No problem. I tie the twine in tight knots near the bottom of the piece 
so that it forms a V-shape near the top. I tie the top with slack knots so I can adjust the opening based on what I'm using for the guinea pigs. After that, I was pretty much done. Let's see how they like it. <laughs> 